Okay, Shreya. So today we will talk about phase changes in thermodynamics, right? Phase changes means, as we all know, that solids can be converted into liquid via process of melting and liquid into gas via process of vaporization and gas into plasma via the process of ionization. And all the reverse process can also happen. And there's a shortcut as well that you can go directly solid to gas via the process of sublimation and can go back in the process of deposition. We all know these phase changes. And this becomes very easy, right? But when it comes to MCAT, it is going to be super duper difficult and critical also, right? So understanding the phase changes by just looking at this phase diagram is going to be quite difficult, but I'll try to explain in a simple way, right? Now, let's see that. It is our graph of pressure and temperature, right? Now, as you can see, there are point A, point B, and point C on this curve, right? Point C is known as solid gas interface. Point A is known as solid liquid interface. And point B is known as liquid gas interface, right? Okay. I'm just trying to introduce you these terms only. And then on to the next slide, I will make my own drawings and will explain you the concept. Okay. Now the point is that when you go up from the solid gas interface, you've got a point which is known as triple point, right? Triple point has a beauty that solid, liquid, and gas all coexist at this point, right? Now, so if you are below the triple point, that means you are at just solid and gas interface, and which means that you can directly go from solid into gas, as you can see. Clear, share? Mm, can you explain it again? Yes, I'm saying that triple point is a point at which solid, liquid, and gas coexist together this point, right? But when you are below the triple point, you are basically, you can go directly from solid to gas via the process of separation. You got it? Yeah. Okay. And definitely, uh, if you are below the triple, uh, triple point, you can directly go from gas to solid via the process of deposition. Got it. Right now, if you are in gas phase, then going up means from gas to liquid. We know that the process of condensation, or just by applying high pressures, now because gases can become liquefied under high pressures, so gas under high pressure can turn into liquid. Okay. Right now, similarly, there is also a point at the end of the gas phase, if you could see, or you could see at the end of liquid gas interface, which is known as critical point. Right? And below mm -hmm. critical point, you can do vaporization and condensation, just like below the triple point, you can do sublimation and vaporization. This is just the introduction of this phase change diagram. When I will explain by my own drawing, you will get better understanding. Got it? Just try to mm -hmm. understand that which phase is uh, located where. Like here, it is solid. Here, it is liquid. Here, it is gas. Okay. Right? Solids to liquid transition means melting. Liquid to solid transition means freezing. Yeah. Right? Okay. Gas to liquid, condensation. Liquid to gas, vaporization. And definitely solid to gas and gas to solid is sublimation and deposition respectively. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to explain you something, or basically I can say the example of two phase diagrams. One I will draw for carbon dioxide, CO2, other I will draw for water. Right. So this is pressure and this is temperature, right? Let's say that here, it is your one atmospheric pressure. Let's say it is a point when the atmospheric pressure is one atm. That means above one atm, the pressure is higher. 
Got it? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you look for the base diagram for CO2, you will find that the triple point is located somewhat at this position. And here in this graph goes like this. And you need to match this point with the equator. Right? Okay. And this is solid, this is gas, this is liquid, no doubt in that. Okay. Now, the point is that, again, if I, what do you mean by these lines, right? What do you mean by these lines? So basically, this is known as triple point. And this entire process means going from solid to liquid, this line represents melting process right but yeah. when you come downward right when you come downward then the process is freezing from liquid to solid you got it mm -hmm. right similarly uh, liquid to gas this line represents basically boiling point right and mm -hmm. there is a kind of point which exists at uh, this position known as critical point. I will explain what it means. Currently, I am just right. Critical point. Okay. Now, so try to understand that for CO2, if you increase the temperature for CO2, right? This is the increase in temperature, right? So if you increase the temperature for CO2, it will go directly from solid to gas, this point. Because mm -hmm. the triple point is at very high position, right? The triple point is at very high position and below triple point, the solid and gas exist. So if you increase the temperature for CO2 um, in this region, then it can go directly from solid to gas, which is known as sublimation. You understand this? Yeah. Right means below the critical point because atmospheric pressure is uh, also below the triple point sublimation occurs from solid to gas for CO2. Okay. Right. And the triple point is a point where if I can write here, it is the point where solid and liquid and gas both exist. Okay. Got it? Okay. So, main point is that I'm writing also here that if you increase temperature below PP, means triple point, then it will go from solid to gas. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is the main point. Now, there is one question for CO2 and also for H2O. I'm writing that question in different color, purple, okay? Here. Now, for CO2, I, I'm asking you, which phase, which phase means solid, liquid, and gas, right? Which phase for CO2 has higher density? Give me the answer on the basis of your general knowledge. Liquid CO2, definitely liquid CO2 or solid CO2? Solid. Solid CO2. Okay. So you are asking, you are saying that solid CO2 will be having higher density, right? Now let's see that. So if you look at the graph, you will find that if you increase the pressure, if you increase the pressure, then density also increases, isn't it? If you increase mm -hmm. the pressure, then the molecule will be converted more into solid and density also increases as atoms are compacting. This is what we know. This is a basic phenomenon, right? Now, if you see the up this graph, then from liquid giving high pressure, this is liquid, right? This is, this is the liquid, right? Liquid, when you are giving high pressure, you are going actually into the solid phase, isn't it? This entire area, this entire region is the solid phase. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So 
as we does graph, if you increase the pressure from the liquid, you can go into solid phase, right? That means that solid phase, in the case of CO2, at high pressure than liquid, that means melting point, this is known as, if this is known as the melting point curve, and this melting point curve is known as positive melting point curve. Why positive? Because going from liquid to solid is compacting the structure, right? I'm also writing that melting point curve. Sometimes it is negative, right? So melting point curve positive means going from liquid to solid is actually compacting, right? And mm -hmm. compacting means higher density. You got it? Yes. You will say that I already know that CO2 is like solid. Why I'm explaining? The question that answer is that when in exam you got uh, two, three different types of curves, you need to explain that which curve is for CO2, which curve is for H2O. No? Then your concept, if your concept is clear, then only you can answer, right? So because the melting point curve here has a positive slope, so we can say that solid CO2 has a density is actually higher than liquid CO2 density. Got it. Got it. Now, I think you got everything, right? But so far, we have not touched the critical point, right? So now let's know something about the critical point that Above this point means if you go above this point, there is existence of super critical fluid. Means if you go above this point, see if you could match the critical point with the temperature, definitely there should be some temperature, right? So as you go above this temperature, the existence of the matter is known as super critical fluid, right? And what is the supercritical fluid? It has a property of both gas and liquid. Property of both gas and liquid, right? Mm -hmm. And just like there was a characteristic feature of triple point that below triple, triple point, you can, sub, uh, you can sublimate the solid into gas. So similarly, above critical point, you can no longer liquefy a gas, even if you increase the pressure. Write in bold letters that beyond critical point, it is true for every graph, beyond critical point, you can no longer liquefy a gas. Even okay. if, yeah, even if you increase the pressure. Okay. Right? Now, yeah. can you explain these things to me, Shreya, so that I can go to the next uh, water phase I need? One second. Yes. Hello? Yes, Shreya. Shreya, are you trying to explain? Or should yeah, I go ahead? You can go ahead. Okay, okay. Now, let's move towards the second part. And now we will talk about the phase diagram of water. Phase diagram of water. Right? Now, different colors and here. Pressure and temperature. Same thing. Temperature and pressure. And here, this point, going that way and going this way. Oh, I'm sorry. This. And 
this. Okay. And this time your one ATM resides at switch location, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the critical point. This is the triple point. This is definitely solid and liquid and gas phase. Right? Okay. Now, let's see that entire scenario. You got just one difference. Are you able to notice the difference? Yes. Um, yes. Difference in this graph and the CO2. Are you able to see the difference? Yeah. Here, here we can see that uh, if I say red color, then definitely this line will be representing melting point, isn't it? Yeah. Melting point, right? So here, melting point line has a negative slope, right? Because it is going downwards, is it? Mm -hmm. This line is having a negative slope, right? How can you determine it is a negative slope? Because if you could see from here, it, it can seem that uh, it is going up. But if you look from here, it appears going down, right? So basically, to determine whether a slope is positive or negative, then you should assume that as you move towards right, please right direction, the line decreases. Is it? Mm -hmm. Right? As soon as you are going towards right, the line decreases. Right? So that means it has a negative slope for sure. Clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Second point which we observe from this video diagram graph is pressure of one atmospheric pressure is above triple point in the space. Okay. Right? Pressure of one ATM is here, triple point is here. It is much above from the triple point. So, this means that as you increase temperature for solid, right, ice mm -hmm. will melt into liquid and no sublimation takes place. Because one atmospheric pressure is here, as you increase the temperature from solid, right, it will go mm -hmm. into liquid. Mm -hmm. Right? And mm -hmm. if you further increase temperature, it will turn into gas. Okay. Do you understand, Shreya? This is actually yes. really important. Okay. Okay. Now, now if you decrease pressure below triple point or TP, right? And heat a solid. If you decrease pressure below triple point, means if you could go here and then heat a solid, then only it will sublime. Okay. Means anyhow, for sublimation, you need to uh, go below the triple point. Okay. Right? So here you can say that sublimation occurs below the triple, tri triple point. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you the same question which I asked on the CO2 that, uh, what was the question? Which phase is higher density? Yes. So, can I ask which phase has higher density in this case, solid or liquid? In, wa in water, it's liquid has a higher density. In water, liquid has a higher density. Can you explain through this graph? Um, See. If we start from solid, right? If if you are here at this position, if you start from solid and go mm -hmm. upward, and solid and going upward, you can reach into liquid, right? Yeah. So so high pressure is for liquid, and so density of liquid is greater in this case, right? Going up mm -hmm. means high pressure, and going up means solid to liquid, right? 
So you can write that as per this graph, if we start from solid and go upward, then we will reach liquid, right? Okay. So high pressure is for liquid in this case. So high pressure means high density. So density of liquid water is greater. You got it, Shreya? Mm -hmm. Any confusion so far? No. Okay. So this is going to be super duper important thing for MCAT. And I believe that if in background two types of curves comes, then definitely you can determine by, by just looking the location of the critical point and this melting point is positive or negative curve. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, practice a lot and then I'm going to move ahead.